Hi guys, my name is Natasha and this is my channel about Russia, about Russian culture and life here. Today I want to tell you about Russian houses. 70% of Russian people live in such kind of project buildings. You can see such houses all over Russia, whether it is a massive apartment building of the Stalinist style, a five-story Khrushchev car or a modern multi-story building. And a typical feature of these project buildings is that around it there are some kind of courtyards. So in this video I'll be focusing not on the apartments themselves, but on the territory that surrounds these houses. We call such territories двор or the courtyard. Another name of this place is придомовая территория, the adjacent territory. Every apartment building has several entrances, called подъезд. So, подъезд is a very common Russian concept. It's just the whole set of staircases. And we also have the elevator here. At least it works, and here you can see even a mirror, some advertisements. In the 90s, подъезд was supposed to be a very dirty and unsafe place. Usually, drug and alcohol addicts were gathering in such places. But now, almost every Russian project building is protected with this thing called домофон. Basically, the door is closed with that magnet thing, and you have to push the button when you walk in outside and this is how this demophone looks. So you can either call your apartment or just use this special key and it's open. So from here we start our journey. I don't even know what to start with. It all seems so exciting. For example, this snowman. The courtyard is the first thing that we see when we go outside. And now I'll show you some features of a typical courtyard. Let's start with some decorations. And here, <laughs> it's another very Russian concept. It's a flower bed made of a tire. And people are very creative about this and they usually paint it in different colors. And you can see that there are still flowers here and it's so sad that now they're covered with this snow. But in summer, this place looked really nice and I have some footage that I filmed in July. A video of these flowers, but it's in summer. I also want to draw your attention to these benches. Because they look very neat. I should say that not in every Russian yard you can see such a thing. This some yards they look really bad, but this one, this one is okay. For Russia, it's really common to park your car just in front of your house. Yeah, sometimes people use garages. The garages are usually located near the house, and for us, it's not only a place to keep your car in. People can also drink there or to roast kebabs, which can be also considered the way of outing that I discussed in one of my previous videos. And the next thing I'm going to show you doesn't operate in every Russian yard, so we're actually lucky to have it here. This is our water fountain. I mean, it's just a very convenient thing where you can buy water. I usually do it. It's just six rubles per one liter. A video of taking the water, but it's at night. And here we have kind of a children playground. Playgrounds differ from house to house. Sometimes it's just a sandbox, a swing and a slide. But in modern houses, they're building better playgrounds. Sometimes there are even some sport facilities in the yard, so kids can play different team sports. And this is a small football field and from my window I saw some kids playing football here. Now it's not the case, of course. Oh wow, look at this funny snowman! We are also lucky to have a grocery store just in our yard. 
and it's very convenient if you need something for your house, some kind of like bread. It doesn't sell all kinds of things, but just things that you need every day. It's it's called So <laughs> Levas, everything for you. And now let's go around this house. In every district there are such energy towers. We usually joke that this is our Russian version of the Eiffel Tower. The house faces a busy street and it's actually located in the center of the city, so it takes me just 10 minutes to walk to the nearest mall or a bus stop. So, at the back of the house there is such a path. It's not in a good condition, but they say water is life, so I don't have any problems with it. After this high-tech drain pipes, I saw a sign that said Vigul sabak zaprishon, which is dog walking is prohibited. I don't know why, they probably take care that dogs do not get wet. And after that, I learned that there is actually an English school just in this house. The balconies and windows on the first floor are usually barred for the safety reasons. But this is a good opportunity for somebody to paint their tags even higher. So basically we walked around the house and that's it. The place I showed you today is just one of the yards that we have in Kabarsk, and there are yards with better facilities and playgrounds. It depends on the utility company and on the effectiveness of their work. A well-designed yard is all about safety, functionality, leisure and aesthetics. It's very important to make it cozy and comfortable, so that people will have motivation to leave their apartments and to spend their time in the yard. When I was looking at these houses, I realized how small we are living in these apartments, like in the end house. And actually, before moving to Kabarsk, I lived in uh, my hometown Spask, in a country house, and there we even had our own garden, and I always felt free. But now I live like in a small cage somewhere in the nine story building, and it feels really unusual for me. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tap your likes, uh, subscribe to my channel, and write in comments whether you have the same kind of yards in your country. Maybe you have some examples of how people decorate these spaces. I just want to know how it is in other countries. And also want to thank you for 3k subscribers. Guys, I'm really motivated every time when I get any comment, any message from you on Instagram or when I see new subscribers. I always try to answer comments if there's something interesting. And thanks to my patrons for supporting my videos. Guys, I really appreciate your support. And this is the end of my video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video, which will be related to the New Year's dream and Christmas vibes. So stay tuned. Bye. Пока-пока.